Hello and welcome to the CDC and HRSA HIV Retention and Care Training Video. Today's program is specifically designed to give you valuable insight and training tips regarding the importance of retention and care for patients with HIV infection. Due to continuing advances in treatment, HIV is a chronic infectious disease that is now highly manageable, especially for those patients who receive up-to-date and consistent care. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, consistent care means routine clinic visits every three to six months for all HIV-infected patients receiving antiretroviral therapy, or ART. Unfortunately, studies have repeatedly shown that one in three people diagnosed with HIV are not in medical care. The evidence supporting consistent engagement and retention in care is strong. Studies from Houston, Texas, Birmingham, Alabama, and Baltimore, Maryland, involving many hundreds of patients, show that the best outcomes were found in those patients who kept their clinic appointments. Higher CD4 cell counts, lower HIV viral loads, and better survival were found for patients attending clinic on a regular basis. To help you increase your HIV-infected patients' retention and care rates, we're going to break down the training into three sections. First time or new patients, regular attenders, and inconsistent attenders. Each section will contain scenarios on first how not to interact with patients, and then on how to improve your communication skills to help your patients feel welcome and cared about. So let's get started. It only takes a few seconds to make a difference. Hello, I'm here to see Dr. Davis, I think was his name. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay. You want to fill this out? Thank you. Do you uh, have a pen or something? Yeah. Thanks. Did you notice the lack of enthusiasm and information? She didn't show any concern for the patient. Now, here's a much better way for the receptionist to engage the first-time HIV patient. You're welcome. Have a great day. Hi, may I help you? Yes, hello, my name is John. I'm here to see Dr. Davis, I think is his name. Nice to meet you, John. I see that this is your first visit with us? Yes. Well, great. And in the meantime, if you don't mind filling this out for me, here's a pen, and then just come back when you're done. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Many first-time patients see a social worker during the first visit. As with the receptionist, first let's see how not to interact with your new patient. Hi, John. I'm Lisa, one of the social workers here. I see you just found out you have HIV. Yeah. Okay, just so you know, when you have HIV, you have to come in for a lot of appointments. Really? Oh. Yes, and we have a lot to cover since this is all new to you. That was not a good example of how to encourage patients to keep their clinic appointments. Now let's see a better way to achieve our goals. Hi, John. I'm Lisa, one of the social workers here. I see you just found out you have HIV. Yeah. Most of our patients are seen every three to six months. It's important to keep you appointments so we can work together as a team to keep you as healthy as possible. This is all kind of overwhelming. I know there's a lot for you to learn and take in, but we'll all help you, which is another reason to come in regularly. I have a brochure for you to take with you. I encourage you to read it. It will give you some additional information about how important it is to keep your appointments. These are also things you can discuss with your provider. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about how you're doing with the HIV diagnosis. Then I can take you to see Dr. Davis. Now let's get a social worker's perspective on retention and care for HIV-infected patients. One of the many keys to increase in retention and care for new patients with HIV is to make sure they feel welcomed. Let them know that it takes a team approach to stay healthy and that regular appointments can help us all stay ahead of the virus. Also remind them that regular appointments can ensure that there are no problems with their health while on their medications. Sometimes patients experience side effects of the medications, but because we see them on a regular basis, we're able to monitor that, adjust their treatment plan accordingly so they can stay healthy. A few months ago, we had a patient who had missed several appointments. Subsequently, he was admitted to the emergency department suffering from an opportunistic infection. Had we seen him on a more regular basis, we could have better monitored his health, kept him on his medications, and out of the emergency department. Now let's move on to our next scenario with a regular attender. Remember, this only takes a few minutes and could change someone's life. 
Let's first start off with how this patient should not be treated by the nurse. Hi, Lucy. How are you? I'm okay. Let me get your blood pressure. Get down here, thanks. What's that poster about? It's this thing to encourage people to come into clinic visits. Oh, I already do that. Yeah. You're good. Now, here's a better way to encourage your patient to maintain her regular attendance. Hi, Lucy. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you, Haley. Did you notice our new posters? The posters show that people who come in on a regular basis have better lab values. And we have a brochure that goes with that that you can take home and read. Um, basically, it's part of a program that we're doing to encourage our patients to come in on a regular basis. But you're pretty good at that. You come in all the time. Yeah, especially when I don't feel well. So what's going on? I've just been really tired lately. I saw my lab work. It's bad. I come in regularly, and I still don't feel good. Um, and your lab values have kind of tanked a little bit, um, so you should be concerned about them. But the good news is, three months ago, they were a lot better, so it hasn't been that long that you've been having these problems with your lab values, and we caught it early. So I know your nurse practitioner is going to want to talk to you about that, and I'll go get her and let her know that you're here and ready to see her. In the meantime, you might want to take a look at that, and I'll talk to you before you leave, okay? Okay. As you can see, a little caring goes a long way and can make a big difference for retention and care. Now, here's our nurse with more positive reinforcement techniques to help motivate your regular attender. When you interact with regular attenders, make sure you acknowledge that they are making an effort to keep their appointments. Let them know that it makes it easier for us to work together to keep them healthy. We all know that HIV science and care change rapidly. A big advantage of having patients come in on a regular basis is that when they do come in, you can apply those cutting edge measures to improve their care. It's not always obvious, but clinics have a culture. A clinic culture that is perceived to be inviting by patients encourages them to come in for their regular clinic visits. Everyone from the receptionist to the pharmacist to the physician to the nurses can make a big difference. Now for our most challenging patient, the inconsistent attender. Here is where just a little bit of your time can dramatically affect someone's quality of life. First, let's see how not to act with an inconsistent attender. Hi, Sam. Hello. I see that you have not been here in a year. I'm sorry. I've been really busy and had a lot on my mind. Well, how do you expect me to take care of you if you don't show up to your appointments? Don't you care about your health? I'm doing the best I can. Okay. Attacking the patient is not the way to improve retention and care. Here's a better method for increasing clinic visits. Hi, Sam. Hello. I see you haven't been here in a year. How you been? I'm sorry. I've been really busy and I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, it can be hard, but you have an important role in keeping yourself healthy. When you come to your appointments, it's hard to give you the best possible care. I wanted to show you this poster. And I see you have the brochure too. Yeah, and I've been reading it. The point is that people who keep their appointments do better. I know. I'm glad you're here today. I really look forward to seeing you on a regular basis so we can work together as a team. Tell you what, how about we do today an exam and then I'll have you see your case manager. Th that would be great. It can't be overstated how important it is to show compassion and understanding, particularly when dealing with the inconsistent attender. Now, our doctor is going to share more ways for increasing clinic visits for the inconsistent attender. To help increase attention in care with inconsistent attenders, staff members should let the arriving patients know that they have been missed and that it's nice to see them. Let your patients know that when they miss appointments, we can't work together to keep them healthy. I remember the story of this young man who showed up to my clinic in really bad condition, and I wanted to put him in the hospital, but he made a commitment to come see me once a week until he got better. 
It was a three-month process. But he kept all his appointments. And because he did that, he was able to avoid his uh, admission. And now he's back to work and living a wonderful life. And finally, emphasize that every patient plays an important role in staying healthy and that keeping clinic appointments is a very important part of that effort. Thanks for taking the time to learn how to improve retention and care for HIV-infected patients. We hope you realize that by using these techniques, you'll increase the chances that your patients will show up for their clinic appointments so that you can help them live healthier and more productive lives.